I didn't start off being incredibly uh, proficient at sport at, at a young age. I was always a sporty child, but that was very much for recreational and social purposes. And in 2004, I met someone that would change the direction my life would take, and he said something very profound to me. It was, Chrissy, do you want to do a triathlon? And I said, yeah, why not? Well, actually, I said, I can't ride a bike. And he said, no problem. And that's how the triathlon journey started. And I started very much as an amateur with no intentions of ever becoming a professional athlete. But much to my surprise, I found that triathlon was something that I was very, very good at and also something that I was passionate about and something that I really enjoyed. And uh, aged 30, I became a professional athlete. And it was only then that I decided that I wanted to focus on the Ironman distance. I'm fiercely competitive and I make no apologies for that. But I wasn't always determined to win, I was just determined to be the very, very best I could. And that's what drove me each and every, each and every day. When I race, I race for others. I race for causes I care about and people that I care about. So. In many ways, that, that's also a hugely motivational force for me. The race that I am the most proud of is when I won the World Championships uh, in 2011. Um, I had had a really bad bike accident two weeks before. Um, I didn't even know whether I could start the race, um, much less finish it. And I was just determined to be the very best athlete I could be on the day and much to my surprise I managed to win that race and I think I defied every single conception of what I thought was possible for myself to achieve and that was the most empowering, enlightening and liberating realisation. I placed preconceived limits on what I thought I could achieve and I blew those limits out of the water. When I crossed the finish line in 2007 and was first crowned world champion, it was the moment that changed my life. I was blessed with the most amazing opportunity from that point forwards. To do Ironman full time as a professional athlete is incredibly all encompassing. I like to say to people I train 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every single moment of my life is dedicated towards achieving my goal. There's not one characteristic or trait that you need to become a successful professional athlete. I think it's a combination of, of characteristics, but definitely to be a professional athlete, you require self-motivation, you require drive, and you require dedication. You know, dedication in the good times and dedication through the bad times as well. You've got to be prepared to, to overcome adversity, to overcome discomfort, to overcome self-doubt and to overcome pain. If someone had said to me six years ago, you're going to be Iron Man World Champion, I would have laughed at them and told them that they, were, that they were foolish. And I've defied all kind of conception of what I thought was possible. And that's the most important message that I want to convey to men, to women, to girls and boys, is that you can do so much more than you think you can. The biggest failure of all is not to try. You might not succeed, but you can at least give it a go. Um, so never ever look back and think what if. Never ever be left wondering what might have been. So be prepared to take a leap of faith, be prepared to step into the unknown, and be prepared to test your limits because you never know where it might take you.